Hello guys, so um, we have another update, quite interesting. Um, we got a user who wanted to be able to track training hours on the matrix. Initially, we didn't, you know, create room for that. So this time around, we had to insert columns in there to make room for, you know, accounting for training hours. Actually, you make the entries in terms of minutes since training can take in a couple of minutes like 20 minutes 30 minutes and once you provide all these details it gets converted into hours so you can tell the overall training hours in there on the matrix and then again we extracted those you know details to generate reports for training hours so you can tell training hours for each you know program how many hours have been spent on each training program you can also tell the training hours that each employee has been able to you know spend or has achieved because you know training matrix is training hours is part of the metrics for measuring training so we decide to make sure that you can now account for training hours for each employee and then again you can now tell the training hours that have been spent you know every month which is quite interesting you know when you go onto the matrix you realize that you know you provide the dates in there and especially when you do another refresher training you need to provide a current date and all so the data are all mixed up you know somehow and eventually we should be able to extract the date so we provided this new um training monthly training hours where you could actually you know select the dates from a drop down so the drop down is coming from here and we we've, we've so far provided it for up to 2023 however you can extend it further down when we get into 2020 you know four and all so you just select the the time frame from the drop down and you, you make sure that it's actually from january all the way to december and what you when you select is gonna actually go through the entire matrix and select all the dates that are in January 2021 and then populate the hours that have been spent you know for training all right so now you're able to tell monthly training hours so that's quite interesting now because we needed to make this new updates we thought it wise to change you know here to from department to job titles because you know i've realized it makes more sense doing a qualification you know matrix or analysis based on job title so you just provide a job, the job title and then you identify the relevant training for those titles and and now that's that's it guys and because of that we had to also introduce a department in here and that department can also be selected from a drop down here just to make sure it's consistent because the departments are actually utilized on here so we don't want to make sure we want to avoid you know unnecessary changes in in the names like typos that would you know duplicate those items in the slices all right so that's the new updates we've introduced training hours in the matrix and you can now generate reports on training hours so a recap of how to use this template you know make sure that you list all the training programs the frequencies for those trainings the training classifications these are all you know coming from a drop down list and the source of the list are all here so if you want to add on to the frequency you can do that from here so like you're able to now select them from the drop down once you provide your entire list of training you, the next step is to do your qualification you know analysis or on the qualification matrix where you select you make sure that all the titles job titles within your organizations are listed here so that they cannot populate on the drop down list and then you would denote with x you know to um, identify that this this training is required for this position and then you move on to the training matrix where you would list all your employees you build a database of all your employees and if training is desired of course you need to select the training here because so the training 
program can be selected from a drop down once you select you know it gets to provide the frequency and it adjusts the next training date and the days due all right so that is how it is once you select the training topic and if training is desired you indicate by one if training has been completed you would indicate by one and you provide the duration of the training in terms of minutes you provide the date of training all right and that will determine the next training days the days due okay which is what you see here and you can actually track up to 100 training topics all the way you know up to 100 training topics and then you can also build a database of up to 400 employees okay now once you're done with you know your entries in order for these changes to reflect on the dashboard just go to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all and that's gonna update the dashboard and talk of the dashboard we have two dashboards all right you can choose whichever one that you like and the most important feature is that you should be able to know the status of training for each employee at a glance now it's quite difficult to view the status of employee um, training for each employee on the matrix as the matrix is very, very big and wide and can really look very complex so you simply do that on the training summary all right so this is like the training status summary where you simply select the program and you're gonna know the status of training whether it's valid whether it has expired whether it's the person has not been trained you know and that is the legend right here where if it is valid that means the days due is more than 60 days if it's expiring soon days due is more than zero and less than 60 days if it's expired then it's less than zero all right so that is what you have here you can actually you um, populate up to 100 training programs however to keep it simple you could you could simply just for the purpose of printing it out you know you can simply focus on the ones that are relevant for you so that you can now you know print them out you know for decision making or for sharing purposes all right so this is the new update you can now track training hours as you know training hours you know it's an important metric for training because sometimes organizations want employees to achieve a certain number of hours of training every month all right um currently it's based on cumulative figure because you realize that on the matrix you don't you don't build a database based on our based on dates but you only provide a date just when you carry out the training and in terms of the dates bits for hours we've kind of done that here where we just used you know an index and match function to be able to extract all the dates that are on the matrix as far as you know the dates that you select is concerned so once you select January it's gonna look through the entire matrix and populate the various training hours as far as the date is concerned all throughout the the worksheet so that's that's a massive improvement if it is something that you are interested in then feel free to get in touch and then download it thank you all for your attention and have a great day